guys, how's it going? Today I want to talk about one of the most successful hydrangeas I have in my garden, and that is the Incredible Hydrangea. It is Proven Winners 2022 Hydrangea of the Year as well, and I think rightfully so. It's just one of those that has been a stellar performer for us. So it is a type of hydrangea arborescence, which is an Annabelle type hydrangea. The difference being though, this one has been bred to be stronger, so it doesn't flop like the older type Annabelles do. It gets larger blooms as well. The first time I saw Incredible Hydrangeas, I was at a test garden where we got to see a huge hedge of them planted and it was the most phenomenal thing I think I've about ever seen. They were in peak bloom and they were absolutely gorgeous. These blooms can be as big as a basketball. They grow about four to five feet tall and wide, which I think is a really great size. They're fairly easy to fit into a flower bed, uh, being not so enormous, but they're big enough to be super striking. And being a hydrangea arborescence, that means that they bloom on new wood, which I think is very helpful in a lot of different situations. So if you are an area in an area that has deer pressure, or if you get heavy snow loads that tend to want to break branches, they produce their buds on new growth. So after the winter, when they start forming their buds and start leafing out, they'll form new growth and they will form their buds on that growth to bloom that year. It's also helpful that they're a zone three through eight, so they're crazy winter hardy. They also make for a great cut flower. You can cut the blooms when they're bright white at their peak, or you can wait until they've started to take on a little bit of more of their late season color, which is kind of a jade green. The other thing I appreciate about hydrangeas is how low maintenance they are throughout the season. I mean, it's my favorite thing about them, apart from how beautiful the blooms are, but there's no in-season maintenance. I mean, you prune them once a year with the Incredibles, you take the whole shrub down by about a third of its size, uh, but other than that, that's it. I mean, they bloom and then they maintain those blooms through the rest of the season. There's no petal mess on the ground. There's no deadheading to get them to continue to bloom. They just look good the whole season. And that's why I love to have them so much in my garden. If you don't have hydrangeas in your garden, I think the Incredible would be a really good one to start with. If you do have hydrangeas, it would make a really fun addition. Basically, I think it's a good excuse to add a new hydrangea into your garden either way. And they should be very easy to find since they are the 2022 hydrangea of the year. Find Proven Winners at Reston Farm Garden Market in Reston, Virginia.